What's happening, everybody? I'm Alex, and this is the In My Grow Show, the podcast dedicated to the cannabis enthusiast in us all. Now, I want to give a big welcome to everybody who's listening, because this is episode number one. The very first maiden voyage. Numero uno, everybody. I'm real excited to be here. I've been talking about this for a long time. You know, thank you for taking the time to join me with it. All right, now, what I'm really trying to do here, what, we're really, what we really want to get to, I'm putting this out there because I want to help people understand cannabis and I want to demystify it. You know, because it's, it's, there isn't a big mystery to it. There isn't a big mystery to how it can help us. There isn't a big mystery to different ways to take it. It doesn't all have to be smoked. You know, it's not going to turn you into a, a Rastafarian. You're not going to wind up with thick dreads hanging out. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, but that's, you know, people who don't, who aren't familiar with the culture, or you know, they're they're only familiar with these popular images of what daily cannabis user looks like. So we're gonna help get past that, and you know, we're gonna learn together because in no way do I know everything about cannabis it's too broad to know i don't know it all i can't know it all yeah the main point is to educate and entertain all right so i plan to talk about the general health conditions that this plant can help you with it can help most people with now before I go on, I need to make a disclaimer. Okay? I am by no means a doctor. I'm not a nurse. And while we're at it, I'm also not a lawyer. I'm not a plumber. I'm not an electrician. Okay? If you hear me give some advice, listen to it very carefully. And then go do your research. I know you've got Uncle Google in your house. He al- he's always in my house. Me and Uncle Google, we uh, we do a lot on the computer. So do your research and then talk to a professional, okay? Don't just say, hey, you know what? Somebody told me that this was true or I heard that this was true. Let me go try it. Um, right on for you for having an adventurous spirit and for being very interesting, very trusting. But uh, yeah, come on, let's, uh, let's be a little responsible. Okay, follow through, everybody. All right, don't just listen to me. Yeah, just because I have a podcast, that doesn't mean I know it all. No, that just means I have a podcast. All right. So, with that said, here we go. All right, so the obvious ones. You know, the obvious one, you know, to use cannabis for is stress and anxiety. You know, it will totally decompress you it'll you know make you want to just slow it down take it easy okay it will make you introspective you you will be alone with your thoughts now some people that scares them don't understand why but that's another podcast for a different time okay so if it's for stress and anxiety you need to understand something okay if one hit from a joint gets you high or it makes you feel funny, stop there. Okay, if one little puff from a joint makes you feel you're like, you know, you you feel something, you're okay, stop there. Okay, you don't want to take too much. There's a fine line between alleviating your medical condition and partying. Now, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with partying with, with cannabis. You know, I do it all the time. That's the way I celebrate. Rarely do I drink alcohol. Don't get me wrong, I will drink alcohol sometimes. But I don't like to mix them. It's never a good time for me when I mix them. It uh, it ends badly for me. I, I can't handle it. I can't handle it, man. 
you know, alcohol and cannabis just uh, no, no. So, anyways, um, yeah, know your limit, especially if you're new to it. I don't want you to have a bad experience, okay? But it will help with your stress and anxiety, okay? But like I said, okay, if you're already an anxious person, uh, get yourself a nice indica sativa might make you more anxious it's just an upstream but you know we'll go over that a little later the strains anyways um it's also really good as a pain well it helps with pain management okay it'll help you manage your pain better it'll help you uh either take less of pharmaceutical drugs for pain or you know help you not take any at all i know people that do both that take less pharmaceuticals when they put it together with cannabis. And I know people who, you know, have cut it out, have cut pharmaceuticals out completely by just using cannabis. So I think it looks like it depends on the individual and the condition, like most things. Uh, another thing that uh, cannabis has been known to work, been good for, is an antiemetic for nausea, vomiting, you know, things like that it, it, it also helps uh, stimulate the appetite makes people hungry you know this is good for a number of not just conditions but treatments like you know there you know people with chemotherapy they have that that problem of nausea you know so it's good for that okay um, another thing it's also good for that it'll help you with is inflammation if you get inflammation, like let's say from arthritic pain, now there's a lot of different arthritic pain. Right? It goes together with inflammation, kind of. You know, I was reading actually that uh, cannabis has been used for a long time. The cannabis root, the root from the plant, has been used a long time as an anti inflammatory. Let me get off topic completely by saying that. All right, um, here we go. Uh, nausea, vomiting, we got that. Okay, um, let's see, stress relief. All right, now anti-epileptics, like I said, do your research, okay? From what I found out, certain compounds in the cannabis plant have uh, increased seizures. So, you know, you just have to be careful. You know, I know we've all seen these really stunning YouTube videos of people with epilepsy getting instant relief, and I, I don't doubt that that happens. But I don't think that's the result everybody gets every time. I just don't know. I'll just, you know, I don't know. So like I said, this is what me and my uncle Google came up with. And the same thing with antispasmodics. That's just, you know, to help you with muscle spasms. There has been a lot of anecdotal evidence, meaning not really scientific, just what individual people have had results with. It's the easiest way to explain anecdotal. I smoked a bowl before I started recording. I'm gonna have some coffee. Let me clear my throat a little bit. I'll throw some music in there for the meantime. I really do enjoy my coffee, but I can only have like one pot a day. Anything more than that makes me jittery. I mean, I'm already a little nervous guy. Coffee just throws that extra Hey, how you doing into it? Okay, so now, so now you're saying, all right, Alex, well, you know, I've got one of these conditions. I can, you know, how do I, how do I become a medical patient, a medical cannabis patient? Well, first of all, hopefully you are in a legalized state because if you're in a prohibition state, all I can tell you is either two things, get involved politically, get your laws changed in your state or move away. There are about over 20 states that have a medical cannabis program. Find one of those that you like. Move there because that sucks. One of two things. The easiest would probably be move away. You know, they probably don't want you there anyways if you're trying to get cannabis. All right, moving on. Okay, so let's say like for me, I'm in California. How do you get your card? All right, well, you're gonna either have to go to a doctor to get your medical recommendation. Now it's a medical recommendation. You're, a doctor is recommending that you use cannabis for your chronic condition or your acute condition, whatever, for your condition, okay? And he's not prescribing it. You can't prescribe 
you know, your doctor's not going to say, hey, I need you to have, you know, two ounces of Gorilla Glue. And that'd be great. That'd be kind of awesome. Uh, but no, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> um, so you're going to go to a doctor. Uh, if you have a, you know, if you have paperwork on your condition, okay, which most of us should. Uh, I didn't when I started in the program, but I started uh, a little over 10 years ago. But And things were a lot less restrictive then. Okay, so here we go. So you're going to take your, your, your medical folder, as much information as you have on your condition. If you only have, you know, word of mouth of, hey, doc, I got pain. Yeah, go in there, try that out. I mean, I'm not saying you will get it. It's a pretty good chance you will. Very rare that uh, they've turned people the way I have heard of it. But anyways, okay, so you're going to go in there. You're going to say, hey, doc, I've got this condition. He's going to take a look at you, or she is. So, you know, they're going to do their regular, you know, going to take your blood pressure, going to take your weight and your height if you're a new patient. And then they'll, when they give you your recommendation, you know, you're, you're golden. You can go to a dispensary and sign up as a, right now in California, anyways, all you can do is get medical cannabis. Okay, this is right before January 1st, 2018, which is when recreational cannabis goes online in California. But that's a whole other thing, folks, because then they leave it up to the municipalities to vote on. But we'll get into that later. Okay, so you've got your card. You're going to go to your dispensary. Okay, now what I do, what I've done lately, last, uh, I'd say about four or five years, I've used a service called HelloMD. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll put the link on the show notes, but I do it. All I need is an email address and my smartphone, and I do it all online. I can do it from my house in my pajamas. Don't need to shower. I can be looking all greasy. I don't like to look all greasy, but I'll be honest. If you look at the picture, you can say, yeah, no, you were. uh, it was like a Sunday morning. So here we go. You pay your fee. You get signed up. A doctor comes online with your phone. Boom, you're having a face-to-face chat. You will have to download um, the Zoom app on your phone. It's a video conferencing app. Like that, emphasize the P. So, all right. Yeah, they give you, you know, you do a little conference with the doc. Over the phone. They ask you your condition. They explain it to you. So... Right here, when you go to the doctor's office or when you visit the doctor over the phone, if you have any questions, this is your opportunity to ask the professional. This is your first opportunity. It's not your last. It's not your last. You can always call the doctor that you went to. There's a number on the back. I believe. Maybe I might be wrong. I know there's a number on the back of my card. If you have any questions about anything related to cannabis your medication about you write them down and take them in with you all right that way you you won't forget you know it's like making a list for the groceries and then leaving it at home you know it's that little game we play you know we get home and we see how many we got right from that list when we get back from the store no uh write it down i suggest you write it down take those questions in don't be nervous no question is a dumb question okay ask at all points and there you go. And now you are a medical patient if you're in California. That's how I do it. Well, all right. So now I know some of you are saying, well, now wait, Alex. What about cannabis for cancer, Parkinson's, and uh, dementia? Yeah. I mean, I have heard the stories and seen the videos um, about all those conditions. And the same kind of thing, you know? I mean... It's, it has helped certain people with certain types of those conditions, you know, and, and if you know someone who has them or if you have them yourself, I, I suggest you check it out. But I can't say that you're going to have these, that it's a cure. You know, I mean, cannabis has been known to shrink and slow down some cancers. Okay, but cancer is a huge umbrella word, you know, it catches so many conditions, you know. So we just, I just want to be careful. You know, the same thing with, <clears throat> excuse me, again, same thing with uh, Parkinson's and, and dementia. You know, there has been a lot of 
great news coming out of those areas, you know, concerning cannabis. But there's, you know, we need bigger studies. You know, now, if a loved one of mine was starting to have those conditions, I would absolutely start introducing cannabis into their diet. You know, either through <clears throat> some kind of sublingual spray or drops, you know, along with other things. You know, I wouldn't just think of cannabis as it's a, a panacea, a cure-all, that's going to do it. No, you have to, you know, fight it on all fronts. <clears throat> At least that's how I would do it. Wow, I do have this. You know what? You know what it is. It's that new vape pen cartridge I got. I don't know how thrilled I am about it. I'm not going to call anybody out on it, though. I'm not going to name names, but I just know for me personally, I won't get that brand again. Yeah, so that's how I... That's how I come down along those lines for that. Uh, if, if you've got any questions... You can get a hold of me at inmygrow at gmail.com. You can also find me on Instagram at inmygrow. Um, for those of you who have been following my website. Okay, now for those of you who don't know, I have a website called, of course, inmygrow.com. And it basically just helps people grow a cannabis plant. The idea was to help people to go from seed to harvest. Okay, so those of you who have been following it, I owe you a section on the cannabis flower, on the cannabis plant flowering. I know this. I left off. The last thing I left off was the cannabis plant and veg. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm thinking about. I'm just gonna do. I'm thinking about just doing the podcast version of those last three parts. And releasing them to the people who signed up for the website, who subscribed to the website. I'm going to release them to the people who subscribed to the website early. A lot earlier than uh, anybody else would get them. Because I feel like uh, I left you guys hanging. I feel bad. <clears throat> and I will get on that. But I don't know when. So uh, stay tuned, I guess. And uh, keep an eye on your email. Okay, folks. I'm going to wrap it up today. I want to thank you again for joining me on this uh, roller coaster ride went up and down and a little sideways. Uh, join me next time. We'll go over, I don't know, maybe some cannabinoids, uh, maybe some different products. I'm hoping to get a cannabis nurse in. Wow. Did you hear my voice is going? Hey, what the hell? The fight begins. <clears throat> All right, you know what? I really don't like that vape pen. You still have hearing this? It's messing with me. All right, everybody, we've had enough. This has gone on far too long. No, not true. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Wait, I want to thank everybody who helped me put this together. Okay, because I do not do this alone. There are more than one person involved here. Ray, thank you very much for all of your help. Uh, let's see, Michelle, you knocked that out, helping me with my logo. I appreciate the hell out of that. We'll be talking later for more little projects. And you, of course, everyone listening, thank you very much. And remember, grow, learn, and teach.